What do we say? <laughs> We're parents. Here she is. Here, I'll hold that. Elena Marie McLaren. She was born on Friday, uh, February 26, 2016 at 7.41 p.m. And she was eight pounds, four ounces. Mm-hmm. And 21 inches long. Yeah. She was a natural birth. Well, I was induced, but you know, she was natural. And Alex was in the room also, and my mom and his mom. And well, was induced starting Thursday night around nine. And then my water broke at like three thirty, three o'clock after I got the second strong pill. And then contractions really started. And then they hurted really bad. So then I finally got epidural around five. Then I felt a lot better. I don't know around what time did I start really feeling them again? I don't know. Later that day, probably around four or five. And they got really painful. And then they told me to lay off the epidural medicine. Which wasn't fun. Um, Alex helped me the whole way through all my contractions by massaging my back. And mom and his mom were in there. Um, Gigi and Mima, or we'll see what they'll, Elena will call them. Aww. And then it was around 7 o'clock. And I couldn't hold her in any longer. And they had to come in and get her out. It was 7.41, we had her. And Alex saw the whole thing. How did you feel about that? Tell us, tell us your story. Oh yeah, I kept, um, the whole time though, I kept falling asleep. Like, I would contract and then just zonk out. And then I dream about weird things. Like, either food or Gracie. It would just be like a split second, it was weird. It was pretty crazy. Being there watching a person be born into the world. But kind of cool at the same time. But it was a little scary, apparently, when she came out. Yeah. But they didn't want to make her crack. She had the meconium. So she almost stuck it in her lungs. She's sleeping. And that's the story of how she was born. That's how babies are made. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> That goes back about 10 months ago. Let me tell you that story. <laughs> Sit down, kids. <laughs> this is the story of how I met your mother. <laughs> yeah, so it was very painful for me, but epidural helped a lot. Um, it was induced because we had, had blood pressure issues and low amniotic fluid. Mm -hmm. You start to forget how it felt even the day after. Yeah, you were like saying, oh, that wasn't so bad yesterday. When in that moment, it was pretty bad. It was bad. That's how it looked to me. Yeah. It was painful. But the whole really labor process was about 40 minutes long. And she was posterior. So now we're getting used to home. What was, how was birth for you? What was, what was it like comforting me? Um, it was hard because like, you know, there's nothing I can do really. Listen to me. Listen to you and talk to you. There's nothing I can do. <laughs> Keep hitting that upper door button. And I couldn't, I didn't eat all day Friday. Mm -hmm. Like I had pack crackers Thursday night at nine or no, 12, I don't know. Mom gave me pack crackers. And then after the girl, you cannot eat. What was our first meal after she was born? <laughs> Hibachi, little sarcus. Hibachi. Thanks to um, Gigi, Alex's mom, she went and got it. Um, so today is Tuesday. So we've had her for a few days now. We were in the hospital forever. Didn't get out till Sunday. And then yesterday we were just really tired. Or getting used to it. Still getting used to it. It's getting less scary every day. Mm-hmm. But she stayed up more last night, 
So I got, I'm like feeling more tired today than I did yesterday. How was it for you? <laughs> Stretchy. Show her chest. She puffs out her chest and stretches. She looks just like Alex. Yeah, pretty much. Look at that ear. This one. This is the Alex ear. A little pointy. Pointy. That's her ear. What? She has my fingers. She has long, long fingers. Yeah, she's got the long fingers, which is good because my fingers are short. See? Yeah. And, well, might as well pull it out while we're here. I might wake her up. Well, she needs to be awake anyway. Keep me awake during nighttime. Doopy doo. There's our foot. Look at that thing. Big. My toes. Do the bottom. They prick. They prick the bottom of her heels a lot. Yeah, for blood tests. I'm already losing a bunch of weight. <laughs> it's weird. I got. She gave me like hemorrhoids. Just so I know when I listen to his video later. <laughs> They're ouchy. Um, she got visitors. Each family is visited, and we're grand or my grandparents. Gracie's met her. But she only sniffs her. She doesn't do anything to her. Gracie gave her a kiss. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Gracie knows. Look at all his hair. Oh, yeah, she has a lot of hair. That was my reflux. Check out that hair. Holy moly. Yeah. Lots of hair. She still has her umbilical cord stump thing. So we're waiting on that. But she's been a good baby. Can't complain. At least she's not a grumpy, ugly baby like the 3D Vulture sounds. <laughs> How scary. <laughs> we thought you were going to be ugly, baby. I didn't. Just your mom. Uh-huh. Let's open your eyes. I don't want to open her eyes for some. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> Let's show you her eyes. Quick little update about Elena. She's here. She, and she, she's cool. She doesn't do much. No, she, just she sleeps and then she eats and then poops. She poops. Pees. We haven't had many poops yet. Not too many. Waiting on it. Yeah. And she went to the doctor's today. Her yeah. first appointment. Yep. Well. She lost a little weight. She's seven pounds, nine ounces. And they measured her at 21 inches at the hospital and they measured her at 20 inches here. Hmm. Yeah. So they might want to recalibrate <laughs> somewhere. And her head is like 13 and a quarter inches around or something. Centimeters. Her head was 13 inches around. That's, yeah, around. Oh, they do like a. Around, yeah. Circumference. Yeah, circumference. Oh, must be like diameter. No. Yeah, that'd be big. That'd be huge. Yeah. There's her eyes. Oh, great. Should we turn on the light? Pretty eyes. Mm -hmm. 